first down, they hand off to Marlon Mack. Huge hole, 50-yard line. He's at the 40, still going near sideline. He's at the 10, he's at the 5, and he will score. Touchdown, Marlon Mack. Touchdown, I-N-D-Y. And again, it's picked off. It's Darius Leonard. Leonard with a second INT, and he's streaking down the near sideline. He's at the 40, he's at the 30, he's at the 20. He's going to go. A pick six for the Maniac. Horseshoe is back, baby. The horseshoe is back. What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to the Bring the Juice podcast. I am your host, Cody Felger. Joining me, your other host, Derek Larger. And Derek, the Colts just announced today that former Indianapolis Colts defensive end, um, the current franchise sack leader, Robert Mathis, will be inducted into the Colts' ring of honor uh, this coming season, November 22nd, when the team hosts the Green Bay Packers. Uh, like I mentioned, Mathis in his 14 seasons totaled 123 sacks, 18 passes defended, 52 forced fumbles, most of all time, 17 fumble recoveries, uh, one interception, and 15 special teams stops. And so he was the guy, Derek, that initially when he was drafted by the Colts uh, all the way back in 2003, he wasn't drafted early like a Dwight Freeney. He was a guy that was drafted in the fifth round, uh, but, you know, really came on. Um, and then, you know, after obviously – uh, Raheem Brock was was not brought back. He really cemented himself at the other defensive end position alongside Dwight Freeney, and mm-hmm. they formed one of the best tandems in terms of getting to the quarterback for years and years. And, you know, the other guys that are, you know, part of this ring of honor, most recently from kind of that era last year, Dwight Freeney, his partner in crime. We were actually at that game, that Miami game, when Dwight Freeney got into the ring of honor. Reggie Wayne the year before in 2018, Peyton Manning 2017, Bill Polian 2017, Jeff Saturday 2015, um, and then there were some other guys earlier on, Marvin Harrison, Edger and James, Tony Dungy. And so, Derek, this is a really unique honor, obviously, because you kind of think of some of, some of these guys, you know, some of the best players in Colts franchise history. Yep. Now, I know that you and I probably – we maybe a little bit too young to kind of know what was going on, especially, you know, early in the two thousands, but I'm curious, man, you know, we watched Robert Mathis for years and years, man, just yep. talk about how ferocious of a competitor and how good of a player he was for the Colts for his 14 seasons in Indianapolis. Yeah. I mean, and it was actually incredible just to see how long he was actually to keep his tenure in Indianapolis. I mean, we saw he was in his mid thirties and was still playing at a relatively decent level. I mean, when he was 32 years old, he said he had 19 sacks in a season. So, I mean, it, it's incredible to think what Robert Mathis has been able to do throughout his entire career. Like you said, 123 sacks, uh, most all time in Colts history. And you think about the strip sacks. I mean, he is the strip sack king. That's pretty much his title. You know, he may not get recognized as some of the best pass rushers that ever will play the game, but he certainly will be remembered as the strip sack king and, you know, being a part of that in Indianapolis, like you said, with him on one end and Dwight Freeney on the other, just wreaking mayhem in the, in the late uh, 2000s. I mean, he, he's an incredible guy, uh, is incredible role model for uh, a lot of defensive ends. And, you know, in his, push to remain excellent remains off the field now. I mean, he, he's still working with a lot of young uh, athletes who want to be uh, football players and works with a lot of the defensive linemen for Indianapolis right now. I mean, still passing on his expertise and his understanding of the game to other people. And, you know, I, I would certainly want to know what Robert Mathis's tools are because, you know, if you can sack the quarterback 123 times in in his tenure that he did, I mean, you, he certainly knows what he's doing. So Robert Mathis has just been an incredible a- uh, athlete for the Colts. Uh, just w- one of the cornerstones of what you want to be in your organization. And it's a huge honor and it's the right call to get him in the ring of honor. I really wish that they would have just put him and Dwight Freeney in the ring of honor at the same time. But uh, either way, it doesn't matter. Robert Mathis is going to get his day, his day to be remembered as he definitely should be. 
Mm -hmm. And he will be the 17th honoree to be inducted into the Ring of Honor in Colts history. So tremendous honor for him. Derek, he's 17th overall in sacks in NFL history. Now we talked about the strip sacks. He's obviously the best of all time. Do you think that Robert Mathis deserves to be eventually into the Hall of Fame? Yes, I do absolutely believe that. Um, He is a Super Bowl champion. And that's one of the things that we like to mention as being a criteria, even though it's not, it it definitely helps. Um, There were multiple seasons where Robert Mathis was at the top when it came to the near top of all defensive linemen, you know, in the late 2000s. And that one season where he had 19 sacks, he was the top. Um, So, you know, a lot of people kind of said, you know, well, Frank Gore had, Frank Gore, it kind of reminds me of the Frank Gore argument. You know, Frank Gore was, you know, he has tenure on his side because he's still in the league. He's staying around for a long time, so he's able to keep these numbers going. But for defensive linemen, you really have to kind of look at what what are their what are their credentials? How many times did they get selected as one as some of the best in the NFL? Did they have uh, how many sacks did they have? How many other things? So. And you you remember Robert Mathis for the strip sack. It's that specific thing. No, being known for one of the best things that a defensive lineman can do. Not only sack the quarterback, but cause a fumble on top of that. That is exactly what you want in your defensive lineman to be able to do. And Robert Mathis is the epitome of that. So, yeah, he may not be top uh, 10 when it comes to sacks. But when you're top 20 in sacks and you're widely known for being the best strip sack artist of a defensive lineman that we've ever seen. You're a Super Bowl champion. You are a cornerstone of a defense that was dominant for five straight years. I mean, it, it totally makes sense that that Robert Mathis should see his way into the Hall of Fame at some point. Mm-hmm. I definitely agree with you. Uh, and the last question I'll kind of raise here, Derek, are there any other you know guys from the Peyton Manning, Tony Dungy era that you think are kind of hall you know Ring of Honor worthy? Do you think there's any more guys that could potentially get into the Ring of Honor eventually? That's a good question. Um, I, I, like you said back in those days, I, I was a little too young to kind of understand a lot of uh, the impact of some of these guys. But you know, obviously, you know the guys like Bob Sanders. Jeff Saturday, Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison, those guys, they're all in. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think Gary Brackett's in there, is he? No, he's not. Dallas Clark's not. Tarek Glenn is not. Uh, Mm -hmm. Adam Vinatieri, not yet. That'll be, he's probably going to be a lock, obviously. Probably will be at some point. Yeah, Vinatieri will be. But yeah, I mean, Dallas Clark is definitely one that I think should be. Because, you know, Dallas Clark was very good. Um, Dallas Clark would be it. Uh, Gary Brackett, I think is another name. Um, I don't know about Jarrell Freeman. That one's kind of a iffy one for me, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's just one of those, it's one of those names that you just recognize from those teams. But, um, yeah, I mean, Gary Brackett to me would be one that I would like to probably see in there. Cause you know, Gary Brackett was a, what, of course, you know, that at that time, people often get overshadowed by, you know, the likes of Bob Sanders. They got overshadowed by Robert Mathis and Dwight Freeney. But Gary Brackett was a good player. He was a great guy. He was a a role model to the Indianapolis Colts. He was that captain in the middle of the defense. So it wouldn't surprise me there if they decided that at some point. But yeah, for Robert Mathis to get his day uh, this next season, it's long overdue. And for him to still be able to work with Colts athletes and still get that recognition. Uh, it's really nice to see from that. It's definitely long overdue for him. Mm-hmm. And then again, he'll be inducted November 22nd when the Indianapolis Colts host the green Bay Packers at home. Uh, be sure to, to be at that game or at least watch the halftime show. Hopefully they'll show it on TV, but all right. I think that'll do it for this one, guys. Uh, Let us know, do you think Robert Mathis is Hall of Fame worthy? Why or why not? Leave your comments below. For Derek and myself, thank you guys so much for listening. And as always, go Colts.